friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 11th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun. 304 angstroms, large plasma filament in the southeast region, two earth-facing sunspots, and another one turning in. And we did have a couple small events slowed down there in the last few images. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, watch on the right-hand side for a little bit of activity from that sunspot region in the north Plasma filament stretching out across the surface, equatorial region right behind it. Looking at the last 48 hours, outgoing. Still observing that large plasma filament erecting from the surface. And as well, small CME right there, B-class. Nothing major to report, not in an earth-facing position. Having a closer look at all of the events... couple minor filament collapses, CMEs, as I said, B-class range. But definitely going to be watching the cresting limb of our sun. All of the energy, we've seen a couple pretty large flares take off towards Mercury. Observing here all of the latest events, multi-spectrum. And as well here, 193 angstroms, darker regions being coronal holes. And we have no new coronal holes to talk about, and we are now leaving the coronal hole wind stream. Still amazing images coming here from Solar Dynamics Observatory. Having a look at Alaska 3, at the small flare that took off towards Mercury on the left-hand side there. Other than that, not too much to report. No major CMEs or flares heading our way. Having a look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing looks like a double CME blast taking off towards Mercury and Bepi. And we were expecting some space weather here coming up on the 16th into the 17th. Looking at a real-time solar wind sitting at about 540 kilometers per second starting to come down after being elevated for about 48 hours ahead of that. Solar X-ray flux remains in B range. You can see they're firing off a couple minor C flares. Geomagnetic activity is still elevated, seeing it at KP5. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 31, looks very similar to yesterday's energies. Amplitude of 31, quality 8.9, power of 18. Now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours, as it's been very quiet, eerily quiet, sitting at about 190 earthquakes according to USGS. And this is a pretty widespread earthquake map today that we are looking at. And no major earthquakes, largest here being a 5.1 in Mekubetsu, Japan, and that was yesterday. 4.5, 4.8 following today, quiet through the Philippines. And then we saw a pretty deep earthquake here after last night's uh, daily dew, 4.5 at a 623 kilometer depth. That happened a couple hours before midnight, as well as 5.0 here, Kermadec Islands, New Zealand. 4.6 there towards Luatolo in Indonesia. And as well, I wanted to correlate here the EMSC earthquakes. Also reporting a 4.2 there because EMSC reports all of the earthquakes in Australia. 4.5s here in Kashgar, China. As well, a rare 3.6 here in Fort Portal, Uganda. South America seeing a 4.9 here in Total, Chile, 43 kilometer depth, 
as well of 4.8 here in Peru, 83 kilometer depth. Still watching a minor swarm occurring in Puerto Rico, 3.6 being the largest throughout the day today. 4.3 here reported in Horqueta, in Mexico. As well, pretty sizable 4.5 here, White City, New Mexico, as the earthquakes continue there. 3.6 San Carlos, Mexico. 3.6 there, Primo Tapia, Mexico border. And as well, Walker, California, seeing a 3.5 today. Other than that, no major swarms to report. Overlooking Hawaii, 3.0, recent. And as well, minor activity continuing through Alaska. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. As I said, it's still pretty low numbers. And after those deep earthquakes yesterday, we can most likely expect a larger, deeper earthquake. Also notable there, a 3.0 northern Quebec, Canada. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Nevada's de Ruiz in Colombia, Sabancaya in Peru, Fuego, Guatemala. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Ebuko in Russia. Era in Japan. Shevlich, Russia. And as well, Popo in Mexico. No major storms to talk about, or tropical systems to talk about, sorry. We do have Tropical Storm Howard, who is being downgraded by the hour, fading out into the East Pacific. Looking around the world, we do have another tropical system heading into the coast of Japan, but nothing major there. Tropical depression at best, and then watch through Australia, as that large low just south of you guys is bringing a lot of moisture the last couple days and as well as some pretty cooler temperatures towards southeast Australia, Victoria. Looking around the rest of the world, fires through France, and as well, extreme heat conditions continue through the United Kingdom. And we've also got quite a few fires that are burning Western Russia. So yeah, Spain seeing wildfires as well. France, Newfoundland fires have calmed down. We've got some new fires that are starting up through the Amazon as well. So heads up. Now let's get to weather here. Five day forecast. We've got extreme heat conditions that are continuing through the United States. Going to funnel up through northern Alberta this week as well. Tuesday into Wednesday. Watch for that hot blob to head down into the Gulf as we've got a very cool trough in the long-range forecast next weekend coming up. But it's going to be a very pleasant week, eastern Canada, right up until the 25th, 26th. Looking at temperature conditions through Europe, up into the United Kingdom. Nothing major to report, but some very hot conditions through Iraq. Now let's get to weather. Quick little forecast video here. Having a look at no major systems heading across North America this week. Mostly convergence lines from large low pressure system Hudson Bay. And as well a system through the Gulf which is going to race up the eastern seaboard. Watch for rain Saturday possibly into Sunday. Coming up this weekend. Overlooking parts of the west, we've got a low pressure system off the coastline there. And then a low pressure trying to form there through Alberta, but pretty dry. 
and then as well a Gulf storm heading into Texas and New Orleans this week. And watch for daily evaporation storms all through Mexico, Arizona. And then we've got a pretty extreme event here. Low pressure system that races up the seaboard heading into the Atlantic Canada. Going to bring some stormy conditions for sure. Overlooking South America. Long range forecast, heavy rains through Colombia. As well, pretty strong system heading through southern Chile. Argentina. Other than that, a daily evaporation rains, nothing major to report. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains, equatorial region. Could be heavy at times through northern Nigeria. Days upon days of strong daily evaporation storms. Southeast Asia, Indonesia. Still got a pretty strong system heading into India forecast here. And as well, quite the systems heading through parts of southern Australia as well. Into New Zealand in the long range. Tasmania. Looks like Saturday into Sunday will be a very windy and wet event for parts of southeastern Australia. So heads up. Strong system heading into New Zealand as well. Thanks for watching today. This has been The Daily Do. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please smash that like button if you did. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.